Hello and welcome to Virtual Sunday School! Today is a little bit different because we're not going to look at a story. We're going to look at a specific Bible verse. And even more specifically, why that verse is important to me. And that verse is Psalm 46 verse 10. So we're going to look at a Bible verse. We've got a game, a prayer, a craft, and then we'll finish with a final thought. As you might be aware, we have been hitting the road with our virtual Sunday School family service. And today I'm very excited because we have got some very special guests, some virtual Sunday Schoolers. Stick around for that. So grab your drink and a biscuit and let's do this. Why not tune in to virtual Sunday School? Psalm 46 verse 10 says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted on the earth. Of course, this is God speaking, not me. I don't want you to know that I am God. I am not God. Also, don't exalt me among the nations. Now, I have always been a very busy person. Busy, busy, busy. I'm a doer. I don't like to just talk about things. I like to actually get things done. Now, there are advantages and disadvantages to this, but it often means I'm a very busy person because there's always lots to do. Even when lockdown hit, when lots of things and people stopped and we couldn't take our shows with our theatre company, Fullfront, into schools or churches anymore, we started Virtual Sunday School and that certainly kept us busy. So you get the idea. Busy, busy, busy. Well, back when I was 17, I went and spent some time living abroad at a Christian conference centre in Austria. No! No! This is not going to be in. That's twice I've tried to sing the sound of music and it's been interrupted. The hills are alive with the sound of... <coughs> it was actually a castle. And eventually, that's where me and Rob got married. But that's another story. Anyway, I was surrounded by these gigantic mountains, this enormous lake and lots of trees and woodland. I had gone from volunteering at church nearly every night of the week, doing schoolwork, seeing friends, seeing family, and generally being a very busy person, to a very peaceful and quiet place. I hadn't been there very long before God put this verse on my heart, and I suddenly appreciated what it meant to be still. Not rushing around here, there, and everywhere, but actually stopping and listening to God and appreciating his creation and just how big God really is. So much bigger than all of my busyness. Ever since God spoke that verse to me right back when I was 17 in Austria, that verse has always been on my mind. Reminding me that when life gets busy, it's important to stop sometimes. To just be still and know that he is God. Now, in the spirit of being still, I thought we'd play a little game. But who is going to play that game, I hear you ask? Is it Rob? Is it Jordan? Is it Ollie? No, I'm bored of them. Instead, joining us today are some virtual Sunday schoolers all the way from Five Town Christian Fellowship in Castleford, Yorkshire. So, over to Rob and our virtual Sunday schoolers. Hello, I'm here with some of the guys from Five Towns Christian Fellowship. Hey! And today we're thinking about being still. So we're going to play a bit of a game. We're going to play musical statues. <laughs> so we're going to be playing musical statues. <laughs> and he's setting around and doing his chops. And then you hold a pose and freeze, all right? If you're moving, then you're out. But to make things a bit more interesting, if you're moving at all, you're gonna get a little bit wet, all right? So, we'll give it a go. Play the musical statues, play the music, and try not to get wet, everybody. When it comes to Jesus' disciples, there's more than just 12. We've got John the Baptist, Lazarus, a woman at the well, or Mary and Martha, or Mary, 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 the people that he healed. Anyone moving? Anyone moving? Moving, moving, moving. 
I'll let him off. of staying still. <laughs> Today we have a craft that requires a bit of stillness and a lot of patience in Beth's Craft Cabin. So what are we working with today, Beth? Today we're working with fuse beads. You may also know these as hammer beads and often they come in a little kit. The little plastic beads, a see-through spiky board with pegs on it to put your design on, and a sheet of paper for ironing your design. So what shall we make with our beads? Well first things first, you might want to separate out the colours that you want to use. So Beth's got a couple of egg cups to keep them together and she's going to pick out all the blacks and the whites. There we are. And now you can start working on your design. We're going to create a picture of one of Nat's favorite verses, Psalm 46, verse 10. But that would take a very long time to do the whole thing. So Beth shortened it to PS 46, 10. Oh, and you might have noticed, Beth's doing her design backwards. Now, this is actually quite an important thing to do, as you'll see later. But of course, we don't want to stick with just black and white. Let's give it some color as well. And you can do your fuse bead craft with whatever colors you like. You can use a similar design to Beth's or come up with your own one. Maybe you could do your own favorite Bible verse. Now you remember we're doing our design backwards, that's because it makes sense looking at it from the bottom, which is what we'll see when it's finished. So now is a good time to check it all makes sense from the bottom. Next, you want to grab that tracing paper and iron your design together. Ah, but yes, irons can be very hot, so you might want to ask a grown-up to help out with this bit. Oh, and grown-ups, medium heat, and then you just want to go in little circles until the beads have all melted together. Once you're done ironing, you want to carefully peel off that bit of paper. Now, of course, don't forget, this might still be a little bit hot. If you need to leave it for a minute to cool down, do that. Once it's cool enough to touch it, then you can carefully peel it off the board. And there we have our beady Bible reference craft. Uh, but if you want to try something maybe a little simpler, how about you try making a cross out of different colors like this one here? Have a bit of patience and have a go at our beady craft. 
For today's prayers, I wonder if I can challenge you to make some time this week to be still. Even on your busiest day, maybe you could take a minute to stop, look around and appreciate God's creation. Or maybe you can make some extra time to read your Bible. I'm going to pray that this week we will all make time to be still and know that he is God. Dear God, thank you that you are in control even when our lives seem really busy. I pray that this week each one of us would make some time to be still and know that you are God and that we would draw closer to you as a result. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen. And so, a final thought. Sometimes I call Psalm 46 verse 10 my life verse and that's because it's a really special verse that stuck with me. So when we're busy doing lots of things, whether that's school, work, hanging out with friends, going on holiday, going on adventures, may we always remember to take time to be still and know that he is God. You know what we are absolutely loving at the minute is coming to your churches to meet virtual Sunday schoolers in real life. It's incredible and we are super excited that there are lots more Sundays coming up where we will be on the road ready to meet some of you. We're pretty busy up to the summer but we still have some dates left after summer where we could come along and run a family service at your church. If you'd like some more information, please drop us an email vss at forefront-theatre.com Now you might not know this, but Virtual Sunday School has almost had half a million views now, which is crazy! So there is no way we are going to be able to meet all of you in real life. I mean, some of the views are from like Mongolia. But we love hearing from you guys, so please do ask your grown-up to head over to our Facebook page or Instagram account to get in touch. And before you go, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you for another episode of Virtual Sunday School in two weeks. Bye for now! Why not tune in to Virtual Sunday School?